guys so i got this idea for this video from watching another youtuber do this video and i thought you know what i turned 29 last year which ugh, even saying it out loud i'm in denial like i'm not gonna lie i'm in denial i'm going to be the big three zero which is also as you can tell because i didn't even see the actual like number together instead of yeah I'm in denial about that too so I figured since I will be turning that age this year I would do a 30 before 30 being meaning 30 things I want to do before I turn that age so yeah and luckily I was able to think of 30 things because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do that but yeah and yes I'm aware I look like I'm 12 and I'm aware that I look very young but alas, I'm getting older and it's scary and I'm in denial and I think if I, I think honestly if I had, like I was talking to a friend yesterday about this and I think like society makes us feel like if we don't have certain things by the time we are 30, we're like not doing what we should be doing or that, you know, we're missing out, you know, the FOMO thing or whatever. But there's no point of me getting down on myself about it because at the end of the day, like I have a very long life, hopefully, knock on wood. And I've always, been, I've always been a late bloomer. Okay, let's get onto the list, shall we? Before I get into an existential crisis up in my brain. So, so first thing I put on my list is go to Vegas. Okay, I've never been to the west coast of the United States, and I, I just, the only thing that makes me nervous about going to Vegas though is the obvious idea of like gambling because I think it's a treacherous downhill slope. I mean, you know. If you don't have a limit or control of yourself or somebody that you trust with you or, you know, stuff like that, you're probably going to lose a lot of money. So, and I'm like, I don't want to lose money. I mean, I'd rather lose money to buying something that doesn't work for me than losing it just because, well, that's not true, actually. I mean, we all lose money, but yeah. So, yeah, I really want to go to Vegas. I really want to, I just feel like that's something that, like, most people do before they're 30, I feel like. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. I don't know, but... Mostly I want to go there to see the sights, obviously have some drinks, obviously, and maybe see a show. That would be amazing. I just think that would be a really awesome thing. And I keep telling my brother and my dad and people that I know that I really want to go there either before I'm 30 or for my 30th birthday, which my 30th birthday, which I can't believe I just said that without having a panic attack, but yeah. <laughs> want to do it before my birthday or on my birthday and my birthday is on a Monday, so I feel like it'd be perfect to do it bef the weekend before my birthday, but there's no plans yet, at least as far as I know, so, which... If anybody knows me, I love surprises, so if somebody did surprise me, that'd be awesome, so yeah. Okay, number two is go to New York and see a Broadway play. I mean, the f the funny thing about this is that I have been to New York. I went there when I was um, in grade school for a class trip, but, and we saw the Blue Man Group, which I don't know if that's considered Broadway. Maybe somebody let me know, but I really want to see Wicked. Me and my friend Carolyn, like, are, like, she's, like, one of my best friends, and me and her have been trying to go see Wicked together for, like, a while now. We might see it this year, maybe, I don't know, but I the think they're coming to like Columbus or some Cle Cleveland or, oh my god, I'm getting hot again, darn it. So yeah, my point is, is I would really like to go see a Broadway play this year and go back to New York because I've only been there once, like I said, and I haven't been there in a long time and I love New York. It's just such a, it's such a vibe, you know, it's a, a mood, right? But Carolyn hates, but I mean, I know she's not going to go to New York because she hates New York. Okay, I need to calm the F down, Sarah. Okay. Um, number three is have a stable relationship. Um, my track record for relationships would basically equate to most relationships that are in movies. It seems like a lot of people that are in their 20s in like rom-coms complain or even t sh even tv shows that are like that like they complain like oh my god like you know i won't i my longest relationship was a month or two weeks or whatever like i'm not i had one relationship years ago with someone that i that i did care about and i fucked it up and i kind of regret it and i think about him sometimes but he's with somebody and it's never gonna happen between us again but my point is is we did have like an on and off two-year thing and I wasn't going to say this, but I would like to have sex before I'm 30. I wasn't going to bring it up because it's personal. But, uh, yeah. Just to put that out there. So that's another one, but whatever. But, yeah. So having a stable relationship would be great. I was just talking to a guy recently, actually, and we went on a date. But, um, I kind of ended it. But 
it wasn't gonna work out of dating guys that are really overly emotional and sensitive and it's just too much for this girl to handle so yeah okay next get a good job i i'm to be very honest with you i'm not working right now i'm in school though and i'm happy about that but i've been trying to get a job and it's just it, it, it's funny because i feel like there's a lot of full-time jobs out there which two years ago when i was dying for a full-time job there was none to be seen but now there's like tons of them and with school i can't do a full-time job so i'm trying to look for a part-time job so if you guys have any suggestions of jobs that are out there that i could get But yeah, but honestly, like I'm not looking for like a great, I'm looking for a decent job. I'm looking for something that I can have for more than three months. Like that's what my, that's why I consider it's a good job or a decent job. Like a, like a great job would be of course when I start teaching and who knows how long that'll be. Uh, number six, I really want, I really want to shoot a gun. I've never shot, I've never shot a gun in my life. My dad actually has a gun, but like, I don't think he's ever, he's never shot, he's never He's never shot it himself, and we haven't shot it either. So, I would just like to shoot a gun. I think it would be very empowering and cool. And I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of guns, but I think if I shot a gun, I would understand them more and more have more respect for them. Which I have respect for them. They're definitely weapons, and they are not toys. Don't play with kid. Don't play with guns, kids. <laughs> but my point is, is, I've never done it, so and I want to be. I want to feel empowered. Seven, try pole dancing or a new type of dancing, which a couple of these, my friend, my new, one of my new friends from one of my classes will be helping me with because she invited me to the swing dance on campus, but I was sick the first time that she invited me. Um, so the next time or the time after that, it's like once a month and it's swing dance and I've never swing danced before. So I'm very interested to try that. So yeah, we'll see. Eight. I want to get a new piercing. I'm thinking about getting my septum pierced. I've heard like, like, I mean, I haven't watched a lot of videos about it recently, but I feel like a lot of people don't say it's painful. Um, so I'm hoping it's not painful, but I mean, I have never gotten a facial piercing. I only have, I have my first hole and I got my second hole years ago and it didn't work out. And then I got my rook pierced years ago and that didn't work out either. So, and I just like the idea of it because it would be a piercing, obviously, that I would, you know, be able to hide which i like so number 10 i would like to be a camp counselor this one's kind of also not weird but like i went to camp when i was in sixth grade but it rained the whole time so i kind of want to have a better camp experience than i've had in the past and that was the only time i've ever gone to camp in my life so it would just be nice to like try that and also i mean i feel like it'd be a fun job to have and i feel like it'd be with kids and nature and like basically everything that i would want so basically if it comes up which hopefully it will before i'm 30 which i mean obviously it would probably have to be like during the summer so we'll see number 11 work uh at getting better at spanish which like i said is another thing that my friend from my class she's really good at spanish she went to costa rica no oh, i think it was costa rica or was it puerto rico it was one of those two places she went there for like two months like you're like you know, between high school and college, I think. And so she's really good at Spanish, and she told me she'd help me with that. So, pretty awesome. Uh, number 12, try snowboarding. I've done skiing before many times. I was, in, I was in ski club in high school. I was in ski club in college. Um, I went skiing with the ski club in college a few years ago. It was so icy, and I, like, I could barely keep myself, like, standing the whole time it was horror it was not a good experience like at all i've never tried snowboarding and it just sounds like something that would be different and kind of fun of course i i feel like i'd have obviously less control like i think that's like the thing that i have an issue with like it, there's definitely less control but maybe i mean who knows maybe i'd be good at it i mean i'm a pretty i have pretty good balance which helps me with, with roller skating and ice skating and of course skiing so 13 ride a motorcycle and okay Mostly because I love thrilling. I love. I'm a. I'm kind of a thrill seeker. I guess I would say. And I've just never been on a motorcycle. And every time I see one, I'm like, oh my god, I really want to go on one. And I feel like I've had a couple people throughout my life who have known people who have them, but unfortunately, it's never just. It's just never happened. But I'm not. I don't really want to buy one and get my license. I mean, that would be cool. Like, 
at some point down the road, but I I just want to ride one. Like, I want to be on the back of one, basically. So, we'll see what happens, but yeah. Of course, it's dangerous, so we'll see. 14, bungee jump. I mean, to be fair, this isn't something that I'm, like, over the moon about, like, if it's gonna, you know. But it'd be really cool if that did happen, to be honest with you. Like, I'm not, like, dying to do that. But, like, even if it was, like, at a, at a fair, then I'd be happy with it. Like, I've seen it at fairs before. And, like, carnivals and stuff, so... I mean, I don't mean, like, bungee jumping down, like, a 50-foot shaft or something. That's kind of scary, but I'd rather do that than, like, skydive. Because skydiving, I'm, I have, I have, a, I'm afraid of heights, so. Yeah. Uh, 15, say yes more. Okay. I have a tendency to say no to things, mostly because of anxiety. Really, bitch? Is someone still? Man. Went to Wonderland up there, man. Um, but yeah, I mean, I kind of, I let my anxiety get the best of me a lot of the time, and that's just not great, so. Um, but luckily my anxiety has not been bad, like, it was bad last year, but my anxiety has definitely not been that bad this year. And honestly, the main reason why I haven't done more things this year is I've been sick a lot this year already, and it's only February, so, yay. And also, the weather. Which, well, I can't really blame the weather, but... I mean, I might be having to blame the weather this weekend, and yeah, we'll we'll discuss that. What is next? What is next? Oh, read more. 16 is read more. Um, my dad is always harping on me to read more, because I mean, you know, in this social media world of ours, it's so difficult to, to get me to just sit down and read a book, and I'm getting hot. But yeah, I really do want to read. I was actually talking to a friend last night. Shelby girl. Hey, girl. Hey girl, hey. Um, and she was reading a book and I told her like, I kind of like going to Barnes and Noble and I kind of want to go this weekend if possible and like just like sit there and maybe get like a drink or something and like just sit and just read a book. So it'd be nice if I read at least one book before I'm 30. So. Okay, 17. Getting I want to get better at editing videos because like when I watch, like when you watch those videos where the pe the the videos like it like zooms into the person's face or zooms in like you know just the screen itself, I have no idea how to do that in any way. Like I can barely edit videos. Like I can do the basic stuff, but when it comes to like really complicated stuff, I don't know how to do it. So it would be nice to do. I've wanted to do that for a while, but it's just. One of those things that I just have to actually like start start it and like actually continue it, but I don't I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, and like um and my next one goes along with that. Eighteen. I want to continue growing my channel. And yes, I know that if I and obviously if I get better at editing, my channel will probably grow too. But I don't think that's like the whole. I think making videos that people want to see is like half the battle. And hopefully I make videos that people want to see. I don't know. I, I try. So yeah. Hopefully. Right now my goal is 200 by... Well, some point in the future. <laughs> would be lovely. Um, 19. I want to have a bonfire beach party or just hang out like... Bonfire. Have a hang out at a bonfire. Like I love bonfires. I like the beach. And having a party on a beach would be really cool. So... Something like that would be really cool. Um, this next one has to do with this weekend, actually. It's going to a ball pit party. My brother got tickets for this ball pit party that's in Cleveland this weekend. It's, like, tonight and tomorrow. But it's snowing outside, and I don't know what's going to happen. So hopefully we can figure it out. But my dad, my my brother mentioned last night that he has to work, to, he might he might have to work tomorrow. And my brother, my dad also might have to work tomorrow. So... And I mean, I haven't really told any of my friends about the idea, so I don't know if any of them would, like, want to go with me. And it's in Cleveland, which is, like, a half hour away from here. <sighs> and I have kind of plans with one of my friends tomorrow, but we'll see. So, it'd be really, really great if that happened, but we'll see. Okay, 21, I want to run a marathon. I mean, I don't, I mean, I mostly just want to get in shape this year, meaning, like, lose some weight or at least eat healthier like I've been trying to eat salads most of the time like every day I've been trying to eat a salad like every day I mean I've missed a few days here and there but 
overall I've done pretty good with that but uh number 22 I really it would be great to go to England I love England I, I mean oh my god I have been obsessed with everything English and England and London related for like most of my life probably because of Harry Potter but I just I want to go over there I've been wanting to go there for years definitely a bucket list thing if it doesn't happen this year which it probably won't but it'd be awesome if it happened before I <laughs> but yeah that'd be great and the next one is also travel related I really want to go to Egypt but I know that they're like in war right now and so it's probably not gonna happen this year I don't know if it's ever gonna happen but when um I've, I've been obsessed with the Egyptian culture since the mummy came out in 1999 so that's like so basically since I was a kid I've been like obsessed with the Egyptian culture I would even get an Egyptian tattoo actually like I've thought about it I'm not lying so that would be pretty awesome uh 24 i want okay this is gonna sound like stupid because i was in college but i want to stay up for 24 hours straight i've never done that which will probably be a testament to why like i didn't graduate college with the best gpa because i feel like if i would have stayed up later and studied more then obviously i probably would have done better but at the same time i'd rather like know that i had decent sleep while in college but whatever so but yeah, I value sleep a lot, and it's important to me, so yeah. But yeah, I would like to do that. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't feel like that's like super hard. This next one, I basically took the idea of... Oh, shit. Okay, but it's um, 25, make my grandpa's rabbit stew. I just... It sounds really good. And even though I love rabbits, like the animals, I want to eat them. <laughs> no, kind of. 26, I want to learn basic car stuff, which... And again, my friend who I just met in my class, she's going to help me with that. 27, I want to get better roller skates because my roller skates just kind of broke. So, yeah. And I love roller skating. 28, update my wardrobe. I'm going really fast because my battery's going to die. Because I feel like I dress like an early 20-something 20 per 20 person and I should dress older. 29, meet a monkey because I love monkeys. And, I mean, if I could have a pet monkey, that'd be great. But, yeah. And 30, volunteer more. So yeah, those are 30 things-ish that I would like to do before I turn that big 3-0. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos from me. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!